going a little deeper into this, also going into um, continuing the forward, really, that I was just at. Going to finish this up here, and mind you, I've skipped a little part where he talks a little bit more about America. If this is resonating with you, I suggest for you to possibly pick up this book. You can get it online used on Amazon or, you know, anywhere just about. Maybe you can check out some local bookstores if you know any privately owned places to support your mom and pop type people. Kind of like what I'm talking about on Twitter for those of you that are on there. Um, this is really, really touching me and um, I'm trying to embody it more. I'm going to attempt to surrender myself to channel to you the beloved, loving, kind energy that is transmitted through this book, and I'm going to try to embody that Shakti pot to you. Ho'oponopono. Let's go. <sighs> In this, the first book of the St. Germain series, our beloved Mr. Ballard, under the pen name of Godfrey Ray King, shares with the reader his personal experiences with the beloved master Saint Germain in the great truth of the eternal law of life. The beloved master explains how these transcendent experiences are attainable to all mankind through loving obedience, purity, and divine love to each one's own great God presence, the source of all life. Life is waiting to surge these gifts into your outer use, but it cannot do it until your attention goes to your source, your beloved mighty I Am Presence, and forms the bridge, as it were, or the stream of energy upon which the presence can give the gift. One of the great ones tells us that only God can free life from human mistakes and qualities. Throughout the centuries that mankind has lived on this earth, life has continually reminded them. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. I am the open door which no man can shut into the great opulence of God, waiting, surging, to press forward, to heal me, to bless me, and to prosper me abundantly. The light is God's way of creating and maintaining order, peace, and perfection throughout his creation. The light is your Christ self, your mighty I am present. Everyone has the same supreme privilege of contact with the all-powerful presence of God, and it is the only power that ever did, now, or ever will, raise the personal self and its world above earthly discord and limitation. If man knew that he never ceases creating, even for an instant, he would realize through the presence of God within himself, he could purify his miscreations and thus be free from his own limitations. He spins in a cocoon of human discord around himself and goes to sleep within it, forgetting at least for a time that if he can build it, he can also break through. By using the wings of his soul, adoration and determination he can break through his self-created darkness then he lives once more at the center of his being in the light and freedom of his god self the transcendent and magnificent activities of love and light are the natural conditions in which god created and expected his human children to manifest obeying his command to love there is no such thing as a supernatural condition anywhere in the universe all that is transcendent, beautiful, and perfect is natural and according to the law of love. Our beloved Ascended Master, St. Germain, reminds us to understand our responsibility in compelling the outer self to draw forth that cosmic Christ's love to do everything we desire to do in the outer life and to keep repelled from us all that is not its own purity and perfection which gives us victory. Humanity is taught to call the love of the sacred fire from the presence to forgive all mistakes of the human self. Forgiveness must come first in the great divine compassion of life before healing can be permanent. Call for whatever sacred fire love is necessary to forgive all that is not love. Excuse me. Call for whatever sacred fire love is necessary to forgive all that is not that love. 
Through illumined obedience and love to their own God presence and to the beloved Master St. Germain, the windows of heaven were opened to our beloved ones, Mr. and Mrs. Ballard. They, in turn, through love, guidance, and God wisdom, helped and will always help those who seek the light and this great goal of life as taught by the great host of ascended masters. We pour to them the flame of love and gratitude from our hearts and thank them for their protecting, loving care and the inspiration which they were to us and for the privilege of being called their family of light. Now may the perfection that is theirs and their masterful guardianship ever unfold and fold all from the ascended master's octave of light eternal. May we all stand as a great blazing diamond of light, flooding our love to the great host of light and call for that light of God that never fails to ever enfold our nation, our beloved land of America, the jewel in the heart of God. And now to this nation, which our beloved ascended master Saint Germain has loved and guarded with his love through the century, we give you his mighty decree. America, thou shalt arise the nation of love and gratitude to life that opens the door for the rest of the world into freedom and peace eternal. May all the nations of the world know only peace, harmony, and prosperity forevermore. O mighty divine, oh, oh mighty divinity, blend thou with me that I may blaze forth thy full victory. Pour through me thy flame, thou my God self supreme in Glory transcendent, thou mighty I am. The great ascended master Saint Germain has told us that the books of the Saint Germain series in the ascended master's octave of light are bound in covers and jewels. They contain the eternal law of life and will remain the law for humanity and the earth for thousands of years to come. The ascended master law of I am <laughs> is the only way provided by life to raise the activity of human beings into the next octave of life above the human. It is the only way by which individuals can correct the mistakes of the past and go forward free from them in the future. It is the means the law of life provides which enabled the individual to give a balance back to the universal for his misuse of life's energy. Instead of making restitution individual to individual, which would become an endless chain of reactions. That provision for bringing balance everywhere is surely the greatest mercy of life to its creation. It is the grace Jesus taught and by which he gained his ascension. All ascended masters and there are thousands of them, have used exactly the same application to become the perfection and power of life which they are now. In reading this series of books, you are trying to understand that which is expressing infinitely greater perfection than you or other human beings of this earth are expressing. There are no discrepancies in this explanation of the law as the ascended masters have given it. They are holy, pure, perfect, all-powerful beings who never make a mistake. The one who reads these books should realize how little he or she knows about what is in this magnificent universe besides himself and of which he has never heard. The power and victory of light is taking its dominion in the United States of America because the ascended masters and the cosmic beings have issued a fiat for the perfection of life to express fully through the people of this earth. That perfection begins in America by the ascended master's understanding and conscious use of the great creative words, I am. All who use that fiat as the ascended masters use it will release the same all-powerful victory and perfection of the light that they do because they are full of its power. They are its full power and perfection. They became its full power and perfection by using it. All can do exactly the same thing and become perfect and all-powerful too. Next is a poem called The Ascension. I feel my God flame touch my brow, the breath of love, eternal now. 
I raise my eyes and lo, I see my own great God self over me. A dazzling cloud envelopes all. I hear my own God presence call. I feel a surge of love's great might. I enter deep its breath, its light. I see within this pulsing flame. I listen and hear my secret name. I feel the glow, the great flame breath. I am the victor over death. I stand forth free, ascended now to my heart's light. All things do bow. I am a being of cause alone, and that cause, love, the sacred tone. I pour out life, I lift, I raise, my heart overflows and sings its praise. My power strengthens and inspires, my great light rays are God's own fires. I am a sun, my love its light, all else grows dim earth lost to sight. I know that I am God, the one, the source, the great, great central sun. And now uh, I will be beginning uh, the book itself. I'll do my best, try not to uh, read to you every single um, page. But wow, um, those opening statements really, really made me happy, especially um, the part of, um, says, uh, reminds us to understand our responsibility in the compelling, oops, reminds us to understand our responsibility in compelling the outer self to draw forth that cosmic Christ love to do everything we desire to do in the outer life. Like no matter how much pressure, no matter how much wickedness that we are responsible to contain our outer self to draw forth that cosmic Christ love. Aho! Some of you, that comes so easily to you. And some of us, it's much harder, much harder to be the light and the way and the truth. As it was meant to be before all those things happened to me, as many of us may say. Hey? Um, I'm kind of been bouncing around books. I like needed to take a bath and just sit in here for a while. And this book was sitting here. Hey, I just found some more pictures in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show how they're depicting. <laughs> kind of an interesting book. <laughs> 